it is important now after light reaction i come into the dark reaction dark reaction it uses nadph and atp to synthesize carbohydrate by assimilating co2 and h2 you can see here uh, that particular co2 now will be entered into the cells in the form of carbon molecules that means some compounds are there some compounds are there that will be accepted this carbon molecule and it will be the carbon number will be increase up so this is one type of carbon assimilation because carbon has been absorbed and carbohydrate will be formed so for this particular reaction they needs a huge amount of atp hmm. so dark reactions dark reaction can be in of two types some plants have typical c3 pathway and some plants have both c3 and c4 pathway but the plants are called c4 why c3 why c4 i will i will discuss now so here you can see in this metabolic process c3 cycles plant assimilate as atmospheric co2 to convert glucose molecule so final it needs glucose molecule the prime enzyme involved in c3 cycle is ribulose 15 bisphosphate carboxylase or oxygenase or obisco because two different functions have it has when it will work as a under c3 cycles it is only uh, used in the form of carboxylase when it is entering into the c4 cycles it will be utilized as oxygenase so both format it is sophisticated and it is converted itself to bed fitted during this total reaction so oxygenase means oxygen reducing the oxygen is the prime objectives of this particular enzyme so c3 plants photosynthesis is suppressed by o2 by as much as 40% when in the upper laminar laminar formats just see here this is the chlorophyll chlorophyll upper body is here hmm. uh, upper lamella is here so when the heat absorbed here photon photon will be absorbed here so upper temperature will be increased so concentration of oxygen is also in this time is very high temperature is also very high in the upper phase that is basically mesophyll cell we know and lower part basically contains special structures of the cells that is called bundle sheet cells okay this is a part of chloroplast so upper layer will be like this mesophyll cells small small uh, cells are there and this particular mesophyll cells is affected by particular heat and higher level of oxygen so to minimize this particular effects plant has adapted to enter into the c4 cycles we'll see later on so this is called basically photorespiration so melvin kelvin use c4 this is radioactive c4 uh, sorry radioactive carbon in the green algae to determine the dark reaction first stable uh, carbon compounds is is uh, c3 हेलो ना बेरो नहीं आठ दस मिनट लागे दादा क्ज कमप्लीट कर दस मिनट लागे और सो दिथी सैकेल्स यू कैन सी फार्स टेबल कम्पोनेंट हेज बीन इज फसफोग्लिसरिक एसिड्स हाउ फसफोग्लिसरिक एसिड हेज बीन ऑप्टेन हेज बीन सिंथेसाइज यू सी दैट पार्टिकुलर can see this particular kelvin cycle yes yes so uh these are city cycles first stable product is the three carbon compounds phosphoglyceric acid that's why the name is c3 cycles rubp or ribulose 15 bisphosphate is a substrate takes place in fast reaction and regenerated in each of the cycles completion by rubisco and thus reuse the reuse to produce carbon so rubp is a common components that has been continuously used by rubisco enzymes to synthesize carbohydrate molecule it is very very important so how much atp has been produced this is the particular uh, layout you can see one mole one mole of atp will be one mole of adp plus one mole of uh, one phosphate molecule that means three mole of amp this is the basically calculations for 
how much energy will be produced for uh, synthesizing one molecule of glucose so this is very easy this is 7.5 kilocalorie we know from one molecule of atp will produce 7.5 kilocalorie one mole of fadh2 will produce two mole of atp that means 7.5 into 2 that means 15 kilocalorie one mole of nadph2 three mole of atp that means uh, 22.5 kilocalories so in this way the questions can come into the exams in a single c3 cycle 9 mole of atp you just have to remember 9 mole of atp and 6 mole of nadph2 are required to assimilate 3 mole of co2 so c3 cycle how much total atp will be required so from this conversation 1 mole is equal to 3 mole atp that means 6 mole 6 into 3 18 ATP here 9 ATP 18 plus 9 how much 27 ATP and here in this way you can calculate a total number of 6 mole of CO2 are assimilated to produce 1 mole of glucose by utilizing 2 C3 cycles means one cycle completed again another cycles will be there that's why after completing the two cycles C3 cycle one mole of glucose can be synthesized therefore for synthesizing one mole of glucose a total number 18 atp will be produced how 9 atp for single cycles 9 atp for single cycle so total 18 atp and 12 nadph will be produced how 12 how in the single cycle 6 nadph will be produced for two cycles it will be 12 so 12 nadph and 18 atp total is equal to 30 oh sorry 12 NADPH 1 NADPH is equal to 3 mole of ATP that's why 12 into 3 is equal to 36 you can just can see here it is also written here and another 18 ATP net ATP has been produced so total for 54 mole of ATP is required for one molecule of glucose synthesis the questions are coming the whole cycles in this process co2 has been initially accepted by rubisco this is the enzyme first uh, stable product is phosphoglyceric acid you can see this is 3 phosphoglyceric conversion of 3 phosphoglyceric to 1 3 bis phosphoglyceric will produce uh, the atp adp plus pa hmm. oh sorry uh, atp has been hydrolyzed to produce that means uh, dephosphorylation so you can say this is not for the opposite of this phosphorylation that is dephosphorylation so another step one three bis phosphoglycerate uh, transferred to uh, glycerol here three phosphate g3p here again six molecule of nadph2 will be required to oxygenate it to six nadp so energy again here has been utilized so here six here six twelve here this particular g3p because a 3 phosphate one molecule one g3p has been entered into the next cycles to produce glucose molecule it is an important questions so which one is responsible for the production of glucose from c3 cycles answer will be 3 g3p direct link remaining five moles these are the six one has been used for the synthesis of glucose remaining six will be enter uh, sorry trans uh, converted to ribulose bisphosphate, phosphate and here again three molecule of ATP will be used so here six molecule of ATP three molecule of ATP that means nine molecule of ATP plus uh, here six NADPH one cycles two cycles means 12 NADPH will be required so for two uh, two different CT cycles nine plus nine we can see nine plus nine means uh, 18 ATP will be required you just can see here and 12 into 3 means 12 NADPH into 3 ATP uh, 1, 1 ATP is equal to 3 ATP that's why 36 ATP will be required here total will be 54 in this way you have to remember very easy so next one some points you have to just remember for your exams it is very very important this is again I have given photorespiration. Photorespiration is a very very important part. I just have to remember photorespiration is nothing. Oxygen concentration will be increased in the upper part of the mesophyll cells. That's why 
uh, 40% will be increased. We have seen there and temperature also increase up. It will again hamper the CT cycles. So the carbon fixation will be reduced down. That's why C4 cycle, C4 uh, plants have been developed another type of anatomy that is called Kranz anatomy that will be seen in later. This is the very very important point. All you have to be remember Hatch and Slack cycles, that is C4 cycles. So fast stable products in case of C4 cycle is uh, fast stable products what we can see here fast stable products that is mesopilsen oh sorry fast stable products is oxaloacetate we'll see uh, so in case of c4 cycle co2 enter into the systems and here uh, rubisco will be act as carboxylase molecule so we just can see the pictures here i have i have i have made one picture here you can see here now just see this is the picture where you can see this uh, important point of C4 cycles. Now CO2 enter into the system with, with utilizing the internal cellular water. It has been converted into carbonic acid. You can see a CO3 minus and H one hydrogen molecule has been uh, produced with this. This carbonic has been has been uptaken by PEP carbon. Uh, phosphoenol pyruvate. This is already available into the mesophyll cell uh, during this uh, C3 cycle. This is under C3 cycle. You can see upper part of the C4 plants uh, just under laminae, leaf laminae, after the part of the C4 plants will be consisting of mesophyll cells and the deep lower part will be consisting of bundle sheet cell. So in the mesophyll cells what will be happening? This particular phosphoenol pyruvate what it is basically three carbon compound, one carbonic acid, one carbon from carbonic acid it has been taken, will be produce oxaloacetic acid or oxaloacetate you can say. This is four carbon compound. That's why in case of C4 cycles, fast stable product is four carbon. That's why it is called C4 cycles. In case of C3 cycles, fast stable product is phosphoglyceracate. This is a three carbon compound. That's why that is called three C3 cycles. It is very, very important. So oxaloacetate again uh, and for this conversation basically required PEP carboxylase enzyme. This is very very important. So this conversion is taken place by PEP carboxylase enzyme. Oxaloacetate enter in uh, converted to malic acid. This is again 4 carbon compound very, very easily can be converted. So the, this conversion is required because malic acid can be easily transported from cytoplasm to another bundle cell, cell through laminal membrane. This is the membrane boundations where through membrane uh, malic acid has been entered into the bundle cell cells. What is the specificity? Here the oxygen concentration is low because this is far away from the upper leaf laminae and the temperature is also low. So oxygen concentration is also low and temperature is also low. So now PEP carboxylase, uh, sorry, uh, Rubisco is worked as here carboxylase activity. So malic acid you can see here. Malic acid has been utilized, sorry, um, split it to two different molecules. It will release one CO2, one molecule of carbon dioxide and three carbon compound of pyruvic acids. So these pyruvic acid is further entered into the mesophyll cells, this is three carbon compound and further utilized by uh, in the conversation of phosphoenol pyruvate, three carbon compounds. So in this way, this pyruvic acid is continuously using. So malic acid, when it will be producing CO2 here, it, it is utilized this particular CO2 under very high temperature, uh, you know, basically in the tropical regions, this C4 plants are visible and available. So where they are entering, utilizing this internal CO2, that will be uh, enter another cycle, C3 cycles within the bundle cell cells and produce this glucose mo molecule in continuous way. So all other things has been written in this summarized way. You have to just, uh, this particular uh, structure of this bundle cell cells, uh, basically uh, wraith like structure means like this and here the internal membranes 
and like this there is a divisions which in every sides and that's why uh, it is called Kranz anatomy okay red like structure so super circle is found in the certain tropical uh, plants maize sugarcane sorghum uh, all the millets most of them are c4 particles pollen so they are utilizing uh, maybe they are uh, they required higher amount of atps but so materialist you can see here in the atp utilization how many atps they are utilizing three net atp in, in the case of three uh, city cycles this is for city cycles and 36 atp will be used in case of c4 cycles so total how many 56 mole of atp will be required so two mole extra so uh, next one is crucial acid metabolism what is basically it is it is basically um, we can see this picture this is the cell uh, mesophyll cell we can say and here that particular chloroplast you can see here this is vacuole suppose this is one another point under the light uh, night time what is this is night time this is daytime what it is happening this particular carbon dioxide enter into the uh, during the night time stomata is open you know the carbon dioxide can be easily enter into the system because stomata is open so it has been absorbed by particular chloroplast where this co2 has been converted to enter absorbed by malic acid what malic acid so and malic acid again just you can see here malic acid again uh, during the night time has been transferred to vacuole it has one extra carbon atom so this particular carbon atom where during the daytime they cannot take the co2 from the outside because stomata is closed okay so how they can get this co2 basically this particular carbon they will utilize this particular malic acid because malic acid will be again uh, released from the vacuoles and it will release that particular co2 molecule uh, carbon molecules and these carbon molecules will enter into the uh, chloroplast to form with the help of rubulous b process rubp this particular carbon has been utilized to make glucose molecule in this way in continuations they can easily adopt themselves for these locations so these are the different points you have to be remember each and every points are important uh, examples of this type of uh, camp plants it is also important succulent plants are there these each and every points are important for your icrgr for exams and other ANC interview. so completes today's lectures and i think this will be very helpful for you any questions you can query me and my contact thank you